Hi, boys and girls. Happy Tuesday. Um, yesterday, you were expected to listen to a nonfiction story all about sharks, and I hope that you had some time to kind of process that information and learn a little bit more. So this week, you were kind of, th this whole week, you're investigating nonfiction text. Um, over the course of the last few weeks, we've been giving you a fiction text and then pairing it with a nonfiction text. Today, This week, you're going to notice that you have two nonfiction texts. One is about sharks and the other one is about dolphins. I kind of wanted to take a couple minutes to talk about nonfiction. That's a huge thing that we've talked about this school year. I know especially with my class and all the other classes. Um, what it does nonfiction, what are nonfiction books? What is the difference between a nonfiction text and a fiction text? So I made like a little anchor chart for us today. Um, so nonfiction, nonfiction means it's real information. So everything in the story it's it's real. It's facts. They're facts of information about the world. So you read a story about sharks. Everything in that book or that knowledge was real information about sharks. So nothing is going to be made up. You didn't listen to a shark that was talking. Um, he wasn't having magic. Everything about it was real. We know also, and this is a huge thing that you're going to kind of investigate, is that nonfiction books have text features. And that's something that we were investigating right before we left for school to or left for the coronavirus was text features. What are some of those text features? So if I were to have a nonfiction book right now, we know that nonfiction books have pictures. And those pictures help with meaning. These text features help us understand the story. So we need to make sure that we pay close attention to them while we read. We need to pay close attention to the pictures. We need to pay close attention to the graphic organizers maybe in the, in the story. We need to pay special attention to the graphs. Sometimes there's graphs of information where we have to gain meaning from. There's illustrations, which maybe in the book about sharks, was there a shark? And then they labeled the shark, like maybe they labeled his eye or maybe they labeled his fin. Um... Lab bolded words. We know that those bolded words, if I had a guided reading book that was nonfiction, sometimes our school guided reading books had bolded words. And then we knew that we could find those bolded words inside of the, the glossary, right? Those bolded words would be inside the glossary. And the glossary would tell us the definition of what those words mean. We know that sometimes there's captions to the picture to explain things or there's captions off to the side and we need to make sure we read those because they have special information. And last but not least, there are headings inside nonfiction books and the headings tell us, and that's kind of one we're going to be learning about today, headings tell us what we're going to be reading about. So if the heading said lemon shark, we know that the next passage we would be reading about would be Lemon sharks. So today, for your lesson, you are going to print this. It says sharks, and it lists all the different kinds of sharks. So we have the black tip reef shark. We got the great white shark. We've got the blue shark, and the lemon shark, and the tiger shark, and the hammerhead shark, and I can't read it upside down. The bull shark. Just lots of sharks. And then you're going to have an activity that looks pages like that look like this. Okay, these little pages. And then you are going to have a page that says, who am I? We're going to answer some questions. I would like you right now to get out these page, these three pages that look like this. And I'm going to walk you through what you're going to need to do. This is a little book. You, some of you might have already known. So you need to get out a pair of scissors and you need to you could stack them all together, make sure they're going the right way, and you need to cut them out like a book. So cut along the bolded line and I'm going to do that with you. I know it kind of takes time. Because we're going to make a book, because the book is going to help us answer their questions. So I'm going to cut out my book. And hopefully you guys have a stapler at home. If not, you can just stack your papers. It's not, it's going to be okay. We can, we can make it work. So I'm going to cut my book out. Whoops. And then you're going to put your pages together like a book. And now you have your own nonfiction book all about 
sharps, okay? So, stack my papers next to each other. Here's my little tiny book. I'm gonna throw my scraps away. Um, if you don't have a stapler, that's okay. You can keep them in a stack. Miss Yuhana does have a stapler right here, so I'm gonna grab my stapler. I'm gonna do mine instead of like a traditional book because I don't wanna lose any of the text. I'm gonna staple it like this up at the top, okay? So now I have my book, Types of Sharks. So I need this sitting out and I need this sitting out, okay? So I have it sitting out. I might quickly do a preview like we do at school when we read a guided reading book. I might quickly just preview. I look at the pictures. I notice the headings. Here's a heading. This is going to be about angel sharks because the, the heading says angel sharks. I'm going to look down here. Here are some illustrations that are telling me about the length, the width, where, and how dangerous this shark is. Okay, it says it's just got one, one danger thing, so it must not be very dangerous. So I might quickly preview it. Then, you're going to have your Who Am I paper. And the directions say, read the clues and decide which shark you think it is which shark you think is being described. Draw and label the shark in the box. So the first thing says, I like to eat shellfish off the bottom of the ocean. I won't bug you if you don't bite me. Who am I? So using that, you need to go and find the text evidence, which means I find the answer in the text that would make sense for that shark, okay? And once you do that, you're gonna draw the shark and tell me what shark it is. So maybe that's the blue shark. So you're gonna say, that's the blue shark. I know that I found it in my book and you're gonna draw a picture and then you're gonna finish that, okay? That's your assignment for today. So you're using text evidence inside your nonfiction book that you just made in order to answer the questions about the text, okay? There are four problems that you're supposed to solve. You'll write the shark's name and draw an illustration of the shark using text evidence, which means you go back the, to the text to find the answer. Okay? Have a great Monday. I'm so excited to see all your hard work on here. As always, you could post to Flipgrid. You could um, put it on Google Classroom. You could have mom and dad send a picture through the Remind showing us the work that you're doing. You could tell us what your, what your favorite shark was to learn about. I just love to see what you guys are doing at home. Have a great Monday, or have a great Tuesday. I will see you later.